crap, 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 crap. Uh, I need to find a better way to to um, divide these episodes. I keep dividing them at like the worst. It's like, hmm, should I divide here? Yeah. No, wait, hang on, because I need to start off and get attacked by zombies. I wasn't just rush past these guys. Yep. Yep. Ah, you son of a. Also, in hard um, advanced mode, there's actually three of them, which is pretty difficult. Well, it's not difficult, but it's more challenging because I think two of them have a chance, really high chance of actually getting you just because you'll get caught in the middle of them. Uh, for number eight, oh yeah, ooh, bugger. That zombie's still there. He probably still wants the munches. He's probably like, dude, I made all that effort to get to the other side of the room just to kill you, and you just left me. Bit tough, we're leaving him again. I really need to stop drinking this soda. I keep wanting to burp. But I need energy. Now, this was the best way to get. I say the best way to get here, and then I go around. And this is the best way to get back to the central area, just cause of all the crap you need to go through. Now we actually should have headed, uh, should have went to the other side of second floor, but there is the room over here that we can go and do now. As I said, I'm not go, I'm not aiming for a speed through. I'm not aiming and doing this fast, cause I mainly want to do this for the sheer sake of fun, and cause it's one of those games I always wanted to share with people. And here, if I never. Oh, yep, handgun. Uh, as you'll notice, now we have ridiculous amounts of handgun ammo, but we still shouldn't waste it quite as of yet. But we should, because if I remember rightly behind him, there's shotgun ammo, if I even remember rightly. Ooh, my life sucks, balls. The kids are another thing, like, hey, you get the lockpick in them, um, so essentially all these areas, like, oh, why did they bother putting them in the lockpick? The reason why. It's because with Chris, um, you don't get a lockpick, but you can, in vases um, scattered throughout the game, you find small keys which take up an item slot in your inventory, and you'll only have one use, and that's what you use to unlock some of them. So some of them you'd unlock and you'd get like a... Oh, bugger. Yeah, yeah bugger. Yeah. Go away. And um, like you'd unlock it, and you'd only get like a ha like handgun clip, and it's like, uh, are you kidding me? Don't need that. Whereas with Jill, it's like, oh, handgun clip. Oh well, <laughs> the more the merrier. And we get herbs here. Why did I go down here again? I was sure there was actually something important. If I remember early as well, if you aim, nah. Apparently there's one of these rooms, it's meant to be this room, I think. And um, if you angle your gun correctly at the screen, um, you would actually shoot the screen and do the gla whole glass break effect. Um, but I can't remember where that is now. Um, also to note, the door there, how it's not even saying like what kind of key or anything. The idea was if you beat, when you beat the game once, you'd go in there and you could change costume. However, it's like, that's it, it's not, there's like, no point in doing it whatsoever, because, I mean, even the change costume idea, um, you need to get to this point once again on your second playthrough just to get it, and generally on your second playthrough you're attempting to, like, beat the time score so you can get, like, the unlimited rocket launcher. Oh, the unlimited rocket launcher. Oh, instant death mobile. Or something like that. Um, but yeah, so it was just like a complete, personally, I think it was a complete waste. In the Sega Saturn version, you actually had extra ones, which is pretty cool. And you actually, actually, that was an interesting thing, because the idea was the PlayStation version came out first, I think. Same time as the Nintendo 64 version, and the Sega Saturn version came out, like, just afterwards. Eat, go away. Now, if I remember rightly... We won't go in there just yet, because there's a very important task we need to do. Like, once we go in there, and I'd rather leave that till we have the time. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure the Nintendo 60 version, 64 version and the PlayStation version came out at the same time. And But for some reason, the Sega Saturn version didn't come out till, like, um... Roughly just before the director's cut version for Resident Evil 1 came out and that was roughly around the same time that Like Resident Evil 2 was just coming out because if you got Resident Evil out and um, director's cut you actually got like a I think it was either a five pound or a five dollar voucher 
um, for Resident Evil 2, which is pretty, and a demo, which is pretty cool. And now you might notice as well, um, with this, um, either as if you didn't move the statues out the way, then the thing would still open, but you'd start getting poisoned and bugger. Okay, please say I can use that. Oh, thank God. So not so much of a waste of herb. I mean, I guess we weren't on full fine. We we're on like yellow fine, as it's called. <laughs> not so fine. <laughs> A bit of a cold kind of thing. And we get and that we get the star crest. I think I got there. Was that? It was the sun crest. Um, I really ramble on when I play this game, don't I? <laughs> now, yeah, we should go downstairs now, cause yeah, definitely. Why, hello, Mister Zombie. <laughs> He's probably not impressed with what I just done there. I think I shot his arm off too. He's like, oh, jerk. Wait, actually, hang on. Don't, I keep getting mixed up with things I'm doing. Now, luckily as well, you actually can shoot him from up... No, can you? No, you can't, bugger. I swear I, could, I remember you being able to do, um, being able to do that. Yeep. Now, yep, armor key for here. Now, make sure... It's a general good idea to make sure you use the armor, like the keys, for everywhere. Because then, when you're finished using the key, um, oh, I know, um, you actually get the chance to throw it away. Like it just says, you know, this key's been used up. You know, it's not no longer useful magically. Um, which is always pretty good. Oh, nothing special, you say? It seems someone has searched here already. Appears to be a switch. Huzzah! Now you actually wouldn't know how to do that unless you read the file that's on the table, funnily enough, but curiosity always led me to check it out, just because it looks like really, yeah. Ah, uh, I remember this. This is really, really sad. Like, obviously just pause and read while you're going on. This is really sad, because it talks about one of the scientists of this mansion. Slightly a spoiler alert, but I hear secret scientific events went on here. And, yeah, he says he realises he's probably going to die soon, and he writes a will for his, like, loved one. It's like, ow, oh. Just, ow. Oh. No. Crap, how do you do this one again? Ah, uh, yeah. This one, because this one can bugger you up, because you, you know, you, you assume you have to push the aquarium inwards, but actually, the idea is you have to push it away, so you can then push this here. And magically, there's a door, there's... Who keeps like a small cupboard? Bugger, I thought there was shotgun shells in there. I need to come back for that. And if I remember rightly, searching here and there's, yeah, another ink ribbon. See, that's what I mean as well, like, there's ink ribbons dotted around this place like fucking crazy. And admittedly, as much as I don't want to, I think I'd probably just leave that grenade launcher ammo there, because we don't really need it. Because by the late on the game, you've got your shotgun until near end. Ah! Ah! Now, I'm kind of intrigued about that mechanic, because you know, the idea is they have the zombie come in, I think. As much as that catches you off guard, it's really weird, because you never ever see the zombies go through doors for the majority of the entirety of the Resident Evil series, actually. Hell, you don't see that kind of thing happen till ah, bloody hell. You don't see um, zombies do that till, like, Resident Evil, like, that was one of the big out, like, about <laughs> The, excuse the pun, that was one of the big outbreaks, aka the big um, breakthroughs of Resident Evil um, Outbreak, which was, or Resident Evil Online, if you're in America and you got the online mode, you fucking bastard. Um, the idea is they had it as like a full on, not an MMO, but like, the idea of being an MMO in short levels, because um, it was all persistent, so zombies would actually chase you. So if you started like running past zombies and you actually led them towards your like a room you're in, they'd start breaking through and you you could actually hold the door against them and stuff like that. It was like really cool. And you can still do that in Resident Evil Outbreak. Like um the version didn't have online play to it. But um it was still really cool, like just a really awesome idea. Now, hmm, trying to think. Like I'm probably gonna go over time with this episode. Back up. Now, sadly, I did want to include a puzzle because just it's the next episode probably no. 
Uh, God damn it. No, we can probably fit it in. Damn it. I wanted to do this in a different way, but... Actually, no. Yeah, definitely going to have to end the episode off here, because the next puzzle is going to go on for too long. So, till next time, guys. This has been Resident Evil Morbid Play. I am Whistler. Hope to see you guys next time. Thank you.